I am and I will be. This is a slogan for World Cancer Day this year. For 21 years, at the beginning of February, people all over the world draw attention to the fight against cancer. In Ukraine, more than a million patients are registered in cancer centers, and every year, 14 southern Ukrainians face this diagnosis for the first time. Cancer control is a priority for the Ministry of Health. Our correspondents found out how Ukrainian medicine is fighting this terrible disease. The slides show the results of Tatiana Kovalenko's lung cancer biopsy. In 2019, she went to a resort. There, she fell ill with bronchitis. Returning home, she went to the doctor in order to rule out pneumonia. Fluorography showed a stain on the lung, and from that time, examinations began. The last one was a biopsy, which confirmed the diagnosis of democarcinoma of the left lung. Then I flew to Israel, gathering all documents, discs, I flew to Israel for an operation. The operation was successful, and the woman is sure that early diagnosis saved her life. Therefore, she presented a photo with a picture of her tumor for everyone to see. The exhibition was named Terrible Beauty. The woman is sure that it is not scary to talk about the problem, it is scary to keep silence about it. Every hour, 16 Ukrainians are diagnosed with cancer. The increase of the state funding for the fight against this disease and the purchase of medicines are projects that the Minister of Health has successfully implemented. For the first time this year, the Ministry purchased a patented drug for the treatment of kidney cancer. Those patients were doomed to the financial toxicity of the treatment, since the treatment is usually lifelong and very expensive. They've already added nine molecules in 2021 for the treatment of adults and six molecules for the treatment of pediatric oncology. The main problem for Ukraine is the issue of early diagnosis of cancer diseases. According to doctors, out of 14,000 annual revealed cases of cancer, a third part is diagnosed too late. Because of this, mortality from cancer in Ukraine is higher than in Europe. Therefore, this year the program of medical guarantees for the early detection and treatment has received more than 179 million US dollars. Since April of 2021, the services will also be provided under separate packages for the diagnosis and treatment of oncohematological diseases, and prices will be significantly increased. For example, tariffs for the diagnosis and chemotherapeutic treatment of cancer will be divided into treatment for adults and children. It will cost $900 for adults and nearly $3,100 for children. As for oncohematological diseases, the prices are $1,600 and $5,860, respectively. In 2021, the National Health Service signed contracts in the sphere of oncology with 118 medical institutions. The state is ready to fully or partially pay for the diagnosis and treatment of cancer in those clinics. Moreover, the Minister of Health has developed a cancer control strategy until 2030. We understand that cancer morbidity and mortality can be reduced through a nationwide systemic approach to prevention, early detection and affordable diagnosis and treatment. It is for the implementation of such approaches that the draft national strategy for the control of cancer until 2030 has been developed. The document includes a list of measures aimed at cancer treatment in Ukraine. It has already been signed by Health Minister Maxim Stepanov. The strategy plan was presented for public discussion at the third All-Ukrainian Forum of Cancer Patients. Reported by Vadim Kramer, Valery Bakus and Inessa Zanina, UATV News.